Hello everyone and today I will have another Sewing Basics tutorial on how I like to make a ruffle. So I'm just going to start off with a strip of fabric and mine just happens to be 2 inches wide. But basically however wide you want your ruffle you're going to add a 1 and 1 8 inch seam allowance. This is good if your seam allowances will be 3 8 inches. Otherwise do a 1 and 3 8 inch seam allowance if you're sewing with 5 8 inch seam allowances. So first thing we're going to do is hem our ruffle. So we're going to start by folding over the bottom edge 3 8 inches and ironing it down the length of your strip. We will sew this down with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Then I will go back and fold over the edge another 3 8 inches and iron this down. And then I will sew this down with a 3 8 inch seam allowance or just before that edge. I like to do the fold and iron, fold and iron so that way this will help the hem of my ruffle lay nice and neat and stay in place whenever I decide to wash it. So this is what it should look like. Then we're going to do a gathering base stitch across the top of our ruffle. I'm going to go to my machine. And basically what you want to do is change your stitch length to the longest stitch which for me is a 5.0 on my machine and that's all we're going to change. You don't want to touch the width, just the length. Pull out your threads from your upper and lower bobbin to about a 3 to 4 inch tail of thread. This is important to do our gathers later. I'm going to start sewing at a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Make sure to leave that same 3 to 4 inch tail of thread at the end as well. Once again, I'm going to pull out another 3 to 4 inch tail of thread and then I will sew at the 3 8 inch seam allowance. And then leave your tail of thread at the end again. I'm going to grab the top two threads on one side and I'm going to gently but firmly pull these threads and my ruffle will automatically start to gather. The double thread makes it a bit more secure in case one of your other threads breaks as well as gives more stability as you make those ruffles. So although you're pulling firmly, try not to pull too hard to where your thread breaks. Once you have some gathers, just use your fingers to move the gathers along the lines of thread and you will see that they easily move around. So just push them back through your strip and you can continue to pull the threads to make more gathers. You can also go to the other side and as long as you pull the same top two threads, you can do gathers at the other end as well. Once your ruffle is gathered to your desired length, usually you will go back and evenly distribute your ruffles through the whole strip. Once you're happy with how the gathers lay, you can add this to your project. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!